Hello again. Although I am, as I'm sure most people know, firmly on Israel's side in the conflict which is now threatening to engulf the Middle East, I would be very annoyed indeed if a bunch of people supporting Israel were to set up a stage and tents against the side of the Cenotaph in London and then start hanging the flags of a foreign country like Israel there. This, the Cenotaph and the area around it, is a sacred space dedicated to the people who fought and died for this country in the First and Second World Wars. In fact, of course, it is not Israelis who have been given permission to do such a tacky thing, but rather Arab protesters. The whole thing seems to have been done with the cooperation and support of the Metropolitan Police, who were present when the thing went up and made no attempt to stop people erecting a large structure made of scaffolding poles and wooden boards. It's surrounded by crowd control barriers, presumably placed there by police. There are Palestinian flags flying from it, and there are even Palestinian flags on the cenotaph itself. Even worse, the police are hanging around the cenotaph and dumping their gear there, right next to the wreaths placed there to honour the dead. Among the wreaths now are helmets and shields, as though the officers concerned know nothing about the most important war memorial in the United Kingdom, or, which is more likely, simply do not care about it. This is disgraceful. I am of course well aware that things such as patriotism and respect for the men who gave their lives for this country are no longer quite what they were 60 years ago. The national anthem is no longer played in cinemas at the end of the evening, and I doubt that people would stand to attention for it before leaving the auditorium the way that they did in the 1960s, even if it were played. In the same way, Remembrance Day is not such a big thing these days as once it was. Despite this, the Senator is, or was, a bit different. It has retained its significance. When Charlie Gilmore, son of Pink Floyd guitarist Dave Gilmore, swung on a flag hanging from the Cenotaph during a student protest in 2010, there was widespread outrage, just as there was when a Black Lives Matter protester in 2020 climbed up onto the Cenotaph and tried to set fire to a flag there. People do care about the Cenotaph. It does matter. It does symbolise something. Now, though, the police and Westminster Council, who are responsible for the area, seemingly can't be bothered to concern themselves with what happens to the Cenotaph. When we stop respecting our dead in this way, then it's a bad sign, indicative of a decay of moral values. If we no longer care about those who gave their lives for our society, we really have lost our way. This has got nothing at all to do with which side one supports in the conflict in, uh, between Israel and Gaza. It's a question of preserving our own heritage, keeping something special from our own society. In the um, description to this video, I give a link to a newspaper article about this dreadful business.